This is the third SPSS tutorial for PSY 251 and is meant to be a companion to the fourth homework assignment. In the first part of this tutorial, you will learn to conduct a one-way analysis of variance. By the end of the first part, you will be able to determine if the results of the ANOVA are significant, be able to make a formal statement about those results, determine the actual probability of finding the F ratio if the null hypothesis were true, and be able to conduct and interpret the Bonferroni post hoc and Sheffey post hoc procedures. In the second part of the tutorial, you will learn to conduct a factorial ANOVA. A researcher is studying the effects of different types of feed on weight gain in rats by changing their diet from regular rat chow. She gives one group of rats a new feed made from beef, a second group a new feed made from pork, and a third group, a new feed made from cereal. After the rats have been on the new diet, for a period of time, she measures their weight gain. I am going to conduct a one-way analysis of variance to analyze her findings. First, I need to get the data into SPSS. I will click in the top left box, then drag holding down the right mouse button until all of the data has been highlighted. Then I will right click and choose copy. Then I will go back to my data view data editor, click in the upper left box, right click again, and choose paste. And then I will make sure that I have copied all of the data into the data editor. Next, I'm going to the variable view screen. I'm going to label my first variable feed. I'm going to give it the label feed type. This is going to be a nominal measure. And then I'm going to give it values. Value 1 will be beef, 2 will be pork, and 3 will be cereal. Notice to make sure to click Add after every value label, and then click OK. The second variable is weight, and will be given the label weight gain. Then I'll go back to my data view, and I'm ready to conduct my analysis of variance. In order to conduct this test, I'm going to start by choosing Analyze, Compare Means, and go to One Way ANOVA. When the test box comes up, I'm going to choose Weight Gain as my dependent variable and move it to the dependent list. Feed type is my independent variable, so I'll move it over to my factor box. Don't hit OK yet, because I still have to choose my post hoc analyses. I'm going to choose the Bonferroni and the Chef A post hoc analyses. Then click Continue. Now I can click OK and run my test. The first box that appears is the results of my ANOVA and shows that there is a significant effect of feed type on weight gain at P less than 0.05. I can also see my F statistic, 12.861, my P value, 0 0.000. And I can see that if the null hypothesis were true, the p-value would be less than 0 0.001. My degrees of freedom between groups for this analysis were 2. My degrees of freedom within groups were 27. 
and my total degrees of freedom are 29. The ANOVA has told me that there are differences between my population means, but it has not told me which populations are different from which, which is why I've conducted post hoc analyses. According to the CHEFE test, the increase in weight on a pork diet is not significantly different from the increase in weight on a beef diet. However, rats on a beef diet do gain significantly different amounts of weight than rats on a cereal diet. Likewise, rats on a pork diet gain significantly different amounts of weight than rats on a cereal diet. I have also obtained similar results with my more stringent Bonferroni post hoc analysis. In the second part of this tutorial, I will be conducting a factorial ANOVA. To do this, I will be using the Yellowstone Park Bears data set from the second tutorial. The last time I used this data set, I ran an independent samples t-test and determined that female bears steal significantly more picnic baskets than male bears. In this factorial ANOVA, I am going to include the variable month to see if the month of the year and the sex of the bear interact to have an effect on the number of picnic baskets stolen. In order to conduct this analysis, I am going to start with the general linear model and then choose univariate. Picnic basket stolen is my dependent variable and sex of the bear and month of the year should be moved over to fixed factors. Next, I will click the options button. Under estimated marginal means, I will choose each of my variables and the interactions and move them over into the box that says display means for. Once this is done, I will click continue. Now I will click OK. This first box shows a summary of my factorial ANOVA. And according to these results, there is a significant effect of sex on the number of picnic baskets stolen and a significant effect of, month of months of the year on picnic baskets stolen but there is not an interaction between sex and months of the year on the number of picnic baskets stolen. The estimated marginal means can be used to make a table showing marginal and cell means. The main effect means can be used to show marginal means and the interaction means can be used to show cell means. 